Whenever I add in a new world, there are several things I do. First, I need to set in all the load file type stuff so I can get all the images loaded in and set parameters so that they get their X offsets, their Y positions, any Y offsets is needed, speeds, for typical of rivers and cars that you see in the background. And of course, there's a lot of other things that go along with it. But, the main part of this video involves the process in which I am Bring, gradually bring in a new world, such as this one that I just now finished. Oh no, not an error. The rim top A. Well, I guess that means I've got a bug to fix. And whenever you see this kind of thing, it means, basically means take in these details here, world 13, and this file name, and let me know about it. That way I can diagnose it and quickly get it fixed. How many of these are there? Every one of them's the rim. Oh, the train map. Well, that I expect. Why am I expecting that? Well, it hasn't been created yet, but that's easy enough to fix. And when you first see it, it looks like uh, well, there's uh, nothing here. It looks so plain and empty. Where is everything? Where's the bubbly red lava that's supposed to be down below? or the uh, volcanic crater rim, or even way, way, way up here, where's the mountains at? And the ground decals. If you look closely, you can actually see the clouds. But when I import a new world into the game engine, the first thing I do is check to see if I get rid of all the programming errors and, and the like, fixing them as needed. And, of course, once I get that in, I add in little bits at a time for the drawing, so I can make sure that it's drawing properly and, and the like. should be seeing ground decals, but at this extreme distance, they're so hard to see that I'm going to have to snag a screenshot and preview it in my Miss Paint. After having fixed most of those errors that I was at least aware of, and the uh, apparent bug in which the uh, ground decals weren't even visible at all, that is actually what I'm expecting right now to be the only error. Why? Because I haven't used my terrain editor just yet. And this time I actually see a line right here. If you look closely, you can see a line. Kind of hard to see, but if I crank up the altimeter a bit, yeah, you'll be able to see it. But I want to get rid of that last error. So, edit terrain. I'm not exactly sure where this starts. I believe it was an 8, 3, uh, 9, 6, 8, okay, edit terrain, all these nulls, white pavement, and it's just something for the fun of it for now, at least. I'll be otherwise updating that, because I need to get that in there, but I do small little changes like that so I know exactly what's going on, and as I crank up the altimeter a whole lot, yep, I can definitely see the ground decals now. And they're hard to see because there's just so much distance in there. But yep, I can see them. Now let's go add in some mountains. I should get it set up so that I load Mount Sentusia first thing instead of this. See, no errors, and what do you know, there's mountains over there. And of course I also threw in the other ground decals and other clouds, just so I can see what's going on here. And as far as how the scenery is looking, make sure I got no bugs and problems. Otherwise, it looks pretty good. Of course, yeah, I know it takes in a huge amount of height because you also got other mountains up in, in the way as well that need to be considered. But yeah, I can barely see the ground decals there. They're so far away though. But. I'm going to make a small adjustment. Now Mount Sentusia loads first thing, which really helps a lot. And as you can probably tell, I've noticed that I've uh, added in more mountains into the mix. And right away you can start telling just how everything is getting closer and closer to the scene. These are the mountains at 1536, these are 1792, the visibility is 2048, and that's scaling units by the way. Take 2048 divided by 3, and that's how many coordinate units there are. 
In other words, you know, well, in one scaling unit. But, and just... Sometimes if something seems a little strange, like right here, it seems to be going up rather far. So I use Frame Advance. I also happen to have Cycle Advance, which is the game's very finest unit of movement precision. Barely even seems like anything's changing, but here it's quite significant. At full speed, well, you can kind of get the idea. Why does that seem so high? Ah, oh, okay, there's the boundary of the mountains. Yeah, that's probably why clouds or something is in the way. Okay, sometimes it does take some diagnostics like that. This is what the 1280 mountains added in, and all the other stuff that's non-scenery, all before that, because the scenery would otherwise block it, and I can't really have that. So, I'm pretty much just going from that. I wonder if I can see that rest area. Yeah, there's a rest area in these ground decals. You have to look at the freeway here closely. Yes, this little road right there is a freeway. Yeah, this looks familiar. This is where that rest area is, right there. Oh well, I'll just add in one little bit at a time. Here's with 1024 added in. Sure is getting a lot closer now. The 768s are now included, which basically means they're now getting even closer to the scene. Not bad, huh? The mountains at 512 are now added, the second closest, and uh, along with that, the uh, closest of the ground decals that are going to be used for this particular world, at least for that type anyway. So, what else is there? Really not too much here to see. But if you also look out here, you can see these same great ground decals out here. And I'm kind of noticing that they seem to be tiling. So, what happens if I get rid of the mountains? This is what happens when the mountains are gone. You might notice these strange gaps in here. The reason for that is actually very simple. Draws. There's no point in drawing areas where the mountains are otherwise completely blocking that. So, I just get rid of it. And that's pretty much all I do. And, well, if you look closely here, you can see how the texture all lines up to the same spot there. I need to go set some X offsets. And this is with all those X offsets added in. And if you look closely, you can see that this city, uh, you can't even see it on here anymore. But you can see that big city right there, I believe that is. There's it right over there, it's right over there. It's all over the place. And that's exactly what I was expecting. And in addition, it's also all lined up exactly with all the, based on the kiloblock. And that's basically what the scenery, a lot of it revolves around. Kiloblock, that's 32 times the width of the screen, or 32,768 pixels on the foreground. That's huge. It's almost a mile. It's not even quite a whole mile. It's more than a kilometer, though. Add all the mountains in and all the clouds as far as it's otherwise needed, and this is otherwise what the end result is. Crank that altimeter up, and let's see some ground decals. Yep, you can see them. Of course, uh, normally you're not supposed to be able to get this high in normal levels, but upgrade jumping and hey, or use levy burst and just hold the up arrow key for a long time and hey, you'll even get this nice dark sky to go with it. And I should be seeing air taxis this time, and I'm not seeing anything. They should be up above. How much up above? Not very much, actually. So I'm just gonna glide along and see what's going on. The air taxis should be going this way, but they're also very far away, and those are kind of hard to spot. But against this dark blue sky, they should be pretty easy to spot. Not against this, but fairly, I don't know about this. But at least you're trying to kind of get the general idea. But I'm not seeing any. So I wonder what's going on. Guess I'm gonna have to investigate this one. Now let's try it for those air attacks. I thought I saw one. I had my debug panel. Ah, there it is. I knew there were gonna be air attacks. 
What was the problem? I forgot to put it in positions. <laughs> Sometimes it does happen. And this is with the volcanic rim added. It's very high up, so I'm going to have to use that. And there it is. Uh, but where's the bottom of it? That's because that's actually a separate image. I just want to verify that this part here actually works properly and, well, looks properly. And yeah, I'm watching all the platforms just zipping by in my test level. It's one thing I love about watching speedometers go up like crazy. So I'm just going to preview it just by getting into a big glide like this and just see how it all behaves, see the texture, see if there's any weird, odd overlaps and things like that. Pretty much just go from there. Yes, I know, it does seem rather high, but now you're starting to see why I don't have any brown decals here. This is up so high that once you actually get this down to the bottom, you ain't going to be able to see that. In fact, I'm actually kind of wondering if I even have the rim too high. Hey, there's the lower part. It's moving a little more than two pixels every frame. Oh, uh, that's not right. That isn't right. Hmm. Huh. Wonder what that's all about. Guess I got a bug to fix. That's why I go by and preview everything, just to make sure. Okay. Seems to be the second of those. Okay, now to investigate the cause of that. Now let's see if that fixed the problem. What was going on? It appears that I confused OR with AND in an IF statement, causing the clouds to get loaded and processed and otherwise kind of messing things up in a weird way. So, I had to do that, and along with that change, I ended up with getting a divide by zero error. Yeah, so I had to go fix that, which I needed to adjust another if statement. And from there, it's now working, but I need to go over to that one area and check it out. Just to make sure, of course. There's that lowest point. Just watching everything zipping by. You might also notice that the voice suddenly sounds a lot different from the previous bits. The cause is because I unexpectedly had the microphone a whole another foot and a half farther away than it should have been. This should be the area where it was messed up, and I'm not seeing anything screwy now. So that's a good sign. It's got a four kilo block repeat width, and I've already passed it. So that means this is good to go. And having encountered that weird behavior, I want to make another quick change. Or uh, another quick check, I should say. What am I trying to check now? I want to make sure that the uh, ground uh, decals all behave properly. So I'm just trying to crank up the speedometer all the way up to the absolute extreme. 133 is a long ways up, you know, when you think about it. And that's pretty much as far as that's going to go. So now just watch all the ground decals going by. Make sure it's all behaving like I'm expecting it to. Might as well do it before I get too much farther. That's why I hid the mountains. I can also check this real quick too over time, but it's already been verified. So, I'm not seeing any odd sudden jerks or anything like that. The odd behavior you see on here, I am actually am expecting. It's a limitation of my game engine that's causing that. Uh, you get these lines appearing, fading in and out. You can see it down here and on here too. It's because of the way the uh, they're drawn. Being a purely 2D game, you know, you have to stick with 2D limitations. But this just gives me an idea on what I'm otherwise looking at. And as you can probably tell, 32 kiloblocks is a huge span, and then some huge. You can see all kinds of cities and stuff out there. 
very nice and clear. There's this giant forest that you start with. So far, looks okay. I don't see any other weird oddities or weird behaviors. But 1,048,576, that's 32 kiloblocks. You have to remember, that's 1,024 times the width of the screen. And look how fast I'm covering that. Yeah, that really says something, doesn't it? You should be looping back right about now. Hm. No problems. Excellent. Now I've got the rim of the volcano, or at least the bottom part. And it sure doesn't really look all that different when you overall. So, let's go crank up the height. You can see where the lava would be, at least now, finally. Uh, okay, that ain't right. Why is there a gap there? Hmm, looks like I got another bug to fix. Wouldn't you know it? What was the problem behind it? Easy. The top part of the rim there, the jagged part, was too high. So I just had to lower it, 128 pixels. That's basically all I had to do. Not much to it. And you know, that reminds me. Seeing these uh, jewels and stuff here, which they contrast extremely well, eh, well, I need to update those score, lives, max HP, etc. for another simulation, so you can get an idea on just what to otherwise expect for this kind of silly bouncing around like that. But one thing I want you to note, guess how high that is. All that speed ahead, and yet, wow, that's a really big rim, I'll tell you. It's a huge volcano, and right now it'd be getting cooked in lava. But I ain't concerned about that right now, and I can't add functionality to lava until I redo the character's animation. But above the rim, you got all the pretty mountains. And I've updated the score and other stats so you can kind of get an idea on what you might expect to see as far as that goes. And I've supposedly added in the lava ground decal, but for some strange reason it ain't drawing. This should be under the lava, and there's nothing here. Huh, so I wonder what's going on there. Bug fixed. What was the problem? Well, it turns out that I just simply forgot to set the uh, Y positions. That's because the far ground decals are all zeros, but the uh, closer ones have to be adjusted so that it lines up with this instead of the rest of the scenery. So, got that in there. It's good to go. Uh, okay, that looks uh, very strange. What's going on here? Seems like I got another bug to fix. Hmm. I'm gonna get some height. That far part looks okay, but not the closer part. Huh. And, oh, whoa, that is nice. And, guess I fixed the bug and then some. But isn't that a lovely texture? Oh, my. That's what my first reaction was when I saw that. And, uh, well, uh, what was the bug? It actually turns out to be, I had the order of the resolutions going in reverse. That is, way out here, yeah, you know, way out here, I had the resolution correct, but instead of actually getting finer as you get closer into the scene, it actually got coarser. Yeah, it don't make much sense. So I had to go fix that, which is really no big deal. Change a function parameter, and hey, do you have it? No big deal. And uh, this is also going to have to get fixed as well. The lava islands are now done, which basically means I am really getting close to finished with this. All the importing of everything. Hey, when you know that's the closest one. Uh, yeah, it looks like it. But yep, there's one of the islands. And one thing I want you to know, look at the lava. It's moving. Look at the island now. It is not moving. That's exactly what I wanted. And the contrast, though, does seem a little lower than I was expecting. But then again, the islands are so dark, and I only went with uh, three-quarters transparency. What am I doing? Well, I added in one other thing that I kind of omitted. 
And let's see, 15. Yeah, I think about there. Trying to figure out where exactly it would be for seeing all those air taxis up above, because they added the one last layer in that I needed. Huh, what do you know? Should be pretty close. Any moment, I'm looking for the closest air taxis. They're around somewhere. It's just, no, it's not the one. Already, there is one. I see one. Yep, that's how fast those things actually move. <laughs> yeah, just watching that just zipping by. That was interesting. And here he would be getting cooked to death in uh, bubbly red, if you kind of will. But I want to see the islands. I don't have functionality for lava just yet, but I want to see all those islands in decent detail anyway at a fair enough height but I want to scan them quickly and thus that's why I did that hmm you can see all the big ones the small ones you can see that it's more compact up the farther away and they're kinda of rare up close you don't see that other one too often but that's the basic idea and that's actually exactly what I was anticipating, or planned anyway. If you remember from the Sentus Caverns how the mud had a cover, you know, where it blocks everything in the foreground even, well, here the lava's got the same. Except I need to test it to make sure it works. So I just make use of frame advance and cycle advance and watch the behavior very closely. It seems to be what I'm expecting. At least there, anyway. Let's see, I need to do the same here. Okay, that's exactly what I'm expecting. That means, well, I need to get down there so I can check how it looks otherwise. So I'll do just a quick check on that. Now he goes a little lower in. Hmm. Now he's drowning in lava. How funny. There we go. All the way under. Don't see anything odd. Excellent. That's what I was otherwise expecting. So, that now completes this world, aside from maybe an odd bug or two that I'm unaware of. This video was created by Alilalia. Thank you for watching.